Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hokpa Chamai, Huinga Gita Chihua, Huinga Yup Yuha, Anchor Jamak, I Hakarachto. Greetings and good evening. My real name is Gitduk, or Gitduchik is the full name. Gitduk is uh, the sort of the nickname. Literally, that means one who drowned. In the Yupik culture, the names are sort of, the translation is a little different every time the name is passed down. And that's the topic of my next Ignite Anchorage presentation. My Christian name is David Clarence Nikolai. Um, I was born and raised here in Anchorage, like you said. I am currently between jobs, but I do have, I, I have the jobs, and I'm in between them. So what I'm here for, what I'm here to show you tonight is Alaskan Native String Figures. When I talk about these, the first thing people ask about is Cat's Cradle, or the other common one, Jacob's Ladder. So here's Jacob's Ladder. The most impressive thing I find about this figure is that it is found indigenous to every native culture on every continent. So it is, the, it is so old that it's been passed along through the entire, uh, gener you know, I don't even know, <laughs> all of human history. Usually in the native culture, when someone says string figures, the first thing they think of is the seagull. Right there. See the seagull's legs is down here, his wings are up here, and his head is there in the center. Now, Seagull doesn't like eagles very much, so Seagull flies away when the eagle shows up right there. What's happening next week, next weekend, or this weekend, I guess? The Adidarod. What, what are you doing the Adidarod? Dog sledding? I was standing in line at the Anchorage airport one night, and in front of me was Jeff King, and I told him this story. See, here's a dog sledder. The dog is on my right side, your left side, and the man on the sled here on my left. And when you're dog sledding, you have to be careful not to fall asleep standing on the back of the sled. Because when you do, you fall off, and the dogs run away without you. Now I asked Jeff King, you know, has that ever happened to you? He said all the time. Where am I? I, I usually do these stories and presentations in a 45-minute presentation or, you know, performance. So bringing it down to five minutes is pretty tough. What I do want to share with you is what's supposed to be the world's most difficult string figure, according to the International String Figure Association. I'm not lying. ISFA.org. ISFA.org. It's called the Fox and Whale. I've got half of it. Let's see if I can get the other half without screwing it up. It is the most difficult string figure for a reason. So here is the fox and the whale. The fox is on my right side with his tail sticking up in the center. His head is right there near my ring finger. And the whale is here in the center with his tail, er, with his tail towards the center there. And the trick with string figures is you always have to show up at the end with a clean loop. I think uh, I have time for one more real quick. This one is going to be the whale. See, there's the whale with his tail towards the center. And the whales, they're mammals, right? So they go up to the surface to breathe. And then when they breathe, they dive down to go eat some food. One more, one more. One more. So this one's going to be the fishnet fastest way I've ever created it. So there's the fishnet right there. One day two bears found the fishnet. The two bears, they were fighting over the fishnet and eating all the fish and tearing up the fishnet. Here's those two bears. Their hind legs are in the center, their body's right there, and I'm holding onto their heads. The two bears, they got full, so they went home. So I helped, I helped write a book, Native Alaskan String Figures. It's tough to find. Get a hold of me if you want one. I've also participated with some other journals trying to preserve this art. If you're interested in more, uh, come see me after the show. I've got strings for you. Dances and Stories for Charity in the summer. The dates are right here behind me. Also, isfa.org, stringfigurestore.com. Uh, and that's Alaskan Native String Figures. So thank you very much. <laughs>